Now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. gentlemen that over there <laughs> that over there is albert renoso hello albert hi alex how, how you are doing you? good thank you yeah last time we did this we we were talking the philosophy of what's after death and his feeling that we're energy and the energy never dies just the flesh just the just the uh, uh, thing we're using to get around in here Correct, and and I, I neglected to mention in the quick explanation that uh, don't don't worry about dying because there will be an awareness after death. It just won't be you know your your solitary awareness, but you will be fine. After well, that. I think we in our last discussion, I think you can understand that I'd really like to come back as a cat. You can come back. Well, no, you really don't have a choice as to as to how you come back. I don't think. But I, there will be other iterations. I could come back as, uh, you know, somebody from another universe. I don't know if you have a choice. I don't know if I you mean, have a choice. I mean, does the energy stay here? I mean, does it stay on the Earth? Energy is all, the energy is all around you. Here we go again, folks. The energy it, is always all around you. It just manifests itself in different ways. Yeah. By the way, I, to make myself look better, I actually changed the color on my face. I looked pale in the last one that we did. And here, I, here I look healthy, right? Yeah. Look, look awake good. and fine. Much better. Yes. yes. Much better. Yeah. So, uh, so uh, what you been doing down there in Florida? Mm, not a whole lot. You know what? I t did I tell you the last time we were talking? That it, and it, it, it means that I'm never... You know, I, when I found out that uh, Bernard Getz, the subway shooter, mm -hmm. was living in my apartment that I had vacated in New York City, I figured there's no chance now that I will ever win the lottery or the, you know, the uh, publisher's clearinghouse sweepstakes, nothing uh -huh. like that, because I've pretty well eaten up all coincidence with that one. Well, that don't, was don't feel like that, that was until a couple of weeks ago. When Donald Trump goes into court here in New York City and the judge tells him that he's stripping him of all his LLCs, okay, mm -hmm. here in, in New York, and uh, that was uh, he did that in a summary judgment even before the trial based upon the information he had been given. And that's been put on hold, by the way. What? The, the stripping. I, it's been put on hold only because he's protesting it, okay, to an appeals oh. court. But, but it's put it's put on hold, nevertheless. It would uh, they will always get it some way to find out to put it on hold, all right. So, but uh, uh, that judge was the same judge that we had for oh, our no kidding for our thing again with the landlord. No kidding! Yeah. Wow. Yeah, uh, Judge Engarn, very nice yep. guy, by the way. I after our thing was over with and we didn't have to deal with him as a judge he called us into his chambers and we sat down and we talked with him did you and sing a song I heard he's pretty musical really yeah he's a pianist and he uh, I think oh, yeah. he played the bass and he was in a couple of bands I didn't know that but anyway yeah, and he loves rock and roll well anyway I um, you know watch the guy I mean I knew, talked to the guy and uh, he very nice guy you know, getting him out of the judge's robes and all of that. And his assistant, who also Trump put down in a, you know, you read about that. Because right, the right. judge he then said, don't go, at, don't, yeah, don't go after my, my crew, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, anyway, it, he's a very nice guy. So, I mean, but also, he didn't put up with any crap. The, the uh, landlord wrote him three emails threatening him this is while the trial is on does it sound familiar at all oh boy 
And he put that they had threatened him in the decision. He said, I'm, I'm telling you this so there's transparency. Mm-hmm. And, you know, and he wouldn't take crap from anybody. Why should he? You know, and, and so I, when he did that to Trump, I figured, this is, this is my judge. He, he's, he's a good guy, but don't screw with him. Yeah. You know, he says to himself, I'm the judge. Don't try and tell me what to do. You know, don't try and threaten me. You know, don't try to bully me. And so that's what Trump was up against. He didn't realize it. This guy's really a very nice guy who has principles. Well, the trial uh, uh, has started again, and let's yeah. see what happens. Oh, so yeah. He, yeah. He, may, uh, he may throw the book at him for two, what is it, two and a half well, million? Well, the other dollars? thing is the funny part about that. The, the funny part about this case is, is that the judge made this summary judgment, which he was entitled to do, by the way, yeah. because he is the judge in this case. There is no other determining factor of guilt or innocence. There is no jury. And everybody goes, well, he should have been allowed to have a jury. Well, he was allowed to have a jury. It's just his lawyers forgot to file for a jury. So oh, they well. got this judge whose his entire fate is in this judge's hands. Is he treating him in a way like he is, you know? No, no, he's not treating him that way. So he's stupid, you know? Who's stupid? Trump. Oh, well. You know, I'm he's not very That's your opinion. Huh? <laughs> you know, well, you know, you grew up with him in New York City. Yeah. So you you more than anybody. I mean, I grew up with him. I always thought somewhat. he was a dick. Yeah, well, I thought uh, he was a dick when he was when he was doing his uh, his deals. I thought he was a dick when he repaired the Central Park uh, uh skating rink. Uh, I thought he was a dick. Why on was the he a t- dick? In, in, wait a minute. The one thing he did that was decent, like the skating rink, he was a dick. I, I it, it, I don't remember the specifics, it, but there's, there's there were a couple of things that stank to me, like he was he was uh, trying to capitalize on something, and he was. Yeah. Okay. You know, yeah. trying to make himself look good for some yeah, reason. And I read his book, and he was a dick in the book too. Yeah, which he probably didn't write. No, he 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 it was he had a ghostwriter help him. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was a ghost. But anyway, I mean, this guy uh, he always stank in New York, and and he probably was doing a lot of really shady deals. All right, throughout his entire career, and he got away with them until now. That's what it says in the book. It says something some things he was able to get away with, and other things he got lucky with. That's not skill. That's not an art. I've often said that the difference between success and failure in this world is uh, in one you succeed and the other you fail. Uh, no, no. No, that's it's not that a difference. At some point during your trying to make it, you do something shady to take you to the next level. Hmm. Do you agree with that? that you know, there's just something that you do that's shady, but if you get away with it, you're at the next level, and now you're okay to go on with your your success. Uh, that make sense? I don't know about that. I don't know about that. But I did read, I, I, did, I did see an interview recently that talked about success and failure. And if you give me a second here, I have the quotes here, which I thought were, which I thought were really interesting. There's, a, uh, there's a, an artist, a, a musician, who, um, who, his name is Jason Isbell, who was asked in an interview on some news program what he believes success is mm-hmm. and what he believes failure is. And he gave two, two quick definitions, personal definitions, which I thought were great. He said, uh, this is Jason Isbell, he said, failure is giving up or not giving up in time. I thought, wow, that's that's that's. We're not giving up in time. That's very good. We're not giving up in time is failure. But either way, either way, if you give up, you fail. Right. Yeah. Right. If you give up, you fail. If you don't give up in time, you fail. 
In, in other words, you should have stopped where you were, you stopped and, you would, and you were, still would have had your money and whatever it was. But you kept investing in your shady deal, and oh, now, okay. you, now you, yeah, you know, yeah, okay. so not giving up in time. Yeah. And and this was his definition. And this he's a musician, just very smart definition. Is he was asked what is success, and he said success is having problems that are different than they used to be. I thought, well, that's a great way to measure success. I don't have those problems Probably. anymore, so I've succeeded in overcoming them. Now I have different problems. Pretty nice, I thought. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, I like your I like your definition. Well, I've right. often you know I've often said that uh, success is not giving up. You know, like I used to say about comedians because I used to have comedians on the show a lot when I was on in yeah, San right. Francisco. They said, what's the difference between the comedian that makes it and the comedian that doesn't fail? And I said, well, outside of me, uh, <laughs> the difference between the ones that succeed and the ones that fail is the ones that succeed just never give up. I said, there are a lot of terrible comedians out there who are successful, and they're successful precisely because they didn't give up. And there are a lot of brilliant comics who never made it because they gave up. But are there are there any good? Do you think there are any intrinsically good comics who just kept trying and trying and trying and just never got traction? Is that possible? Well, I think they try without giving up. Well, I, they, 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 could you not be successful if if? Well, I mean, part of being successful is it, it, what I call giving up. Is part of giving up is not um, not pushing yourself, not pushing yourself to other people. Most of the people I know have been successful. Look, how many people on radio do you know who are hacks? Okay? I can't answer that Well, question. you have one right here, okay? Okay. Question. No, but I'm saying that... By the way, what's radio? This is my first question. Yeah, but the fact is that hacks, you know, hacks make it many times because they just got the hunger for it. You know? They're not giving up. Ah, I suppose, yeah. I mean, we know we've known. And, but then you're saying there's something to be said about um, kissing ass and stabbing people in the back. Well, that, that's but that's success. that's part of not giving up. Okay, right. Okay, that's yeah. part of not giving. That's up. That's true. That's part of not giving up. You kill the you oh, kill no, the people. You're, you're always way. you're always working it. You're always but, working it. But then that then that gets to the root of the whole uh, um, argument. What is success? What does it mean to be successful? Well, was I successful? I don't know. You can answer no, that. No, my that I know. I think I think, I, I think I, you have to ask different people, and some people will say no, he wasn't successful because of this, listen, this, and this. All I can and say is, say, of course, he was successful. I, I can say I was very lucky. All right. I don't think you were, I, I don't think you were very lucky. I think there were, and for for all of us, I think there are times where uh, fortune is part of the uh, mathematical process to success and other times where skill figures into it very much and, and, and the balance of all that creates success and it's different for everybody and it's different in well, every situation. I, it, you know, I feel I was lucky because I was looking back on my career. Yeah, one night I was lying in bed and I'm looking back on it, right? And it's going on in front of me like a movie. And I'm going every step along the way where I had success, every step along the way where I got the better job, I got it completely by luck. That there was some something that changed in the universe that made me get that thing. I mean, I, I've had things where uh, it, it, I was asked to go when I was out of work in New York. And uh, I could really use a job. Uh, I got called back to Houston, Texas, where I'd formerly worked, and taken out to lunch and asked if I'd like to go back to work at this particular radio station and do a show, right? And they were willing to pay me a lot of money. And I went back to New York, and I looked at my wife at that time, who was Susan, and I said, I can't take it. I said, I just can't. I can't. It's going back. It's not going forward. Hmm. And um, she said to me, well, whatever you think. And so I turned down the job. And the next day I get a call from a guy in California who I knew. He said, would you like to come out here and do a week on uh, KMEL? They're looking for some, 
some talent here, and uh, that would kind of work as an audition for you. And I said, yeah, okay. Well, I could have, and then I went out to San Francisco and I became a real success. I made a lot of money, uh, if that's a measure of success. I was very popular, high ratings, if you consider that a measure of success. But also, personally, it was some of the best work I ever did, which, of course, is the main re judgment for success in my part. So, well, that's what I was going to say. What What is yeah, your yeah. definition of success? Yeah. And I would have never gotten that job had I taken the other one. You may have. You know, you may you may have been approached even if after you started the other one. No, but the other one I would have been, but it would have been too soon, and I would have had to have quit after I just started. So you know, well, I might have signed a contract. It doesn't and, matter. It doesn't matter. It happened. All That's I'm saying happened. is that always at the last minute something happened. You know, the reason I got work is it got to New York. But it, it look look at life. That's always the way it is. At the last minute, something happened. This happened, and it changed things. That's that's life. That's the that's the I'm, way I'm, things. I'm, coincidence I'm, is what life is all about. I'm sitting in, in Chicago being a disc jockey. Okay, uh, I didn't know you worked in Chicago. Yeah, I didn't know that. Oh, you didn't know that. Oh, WYND in Chicago, the Westinghouse station there at the time. I didn't know. Anyway. Uh, so I, uh, in fact, Bernard Shaw was my newsman. That I knew. I didn't know it was in Chicago. Oh, excuse me. No, my newsman, uh, newsman on our station was Bernard Shaw, and I knew him there. Right. And my, my, uh, yes, my, uh, my newsman for the show uh, was Don Cornelius. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so here I am. I'm in, 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 in and I, I get a call from somebody who wants me to come to New York to talk about possibly working at WMCA. And I said, well, how did you hear about me? And he said, well, I heard about you from your boss in Minneapolis. Well, that was a boss I told to shove it and left the station. But he said, you want a good performer, Alex Bennett, in spite of the fact that I had walked out on the station. So uh, that's that that's not surprising to me. So, but that somehow was coincidence to me. I mean, I never for a while, for most of my career, I never got a job by going after it. They were jobs that came after me. So, you know, I, I, I that's why I say I'm lucky. That well, then okay. I'm lucky too because that's the reason that I know you now. I didn't go. I didn't say I gotta. I gotta be with Alex Bennett. It's serious. Well, okay. All and right. and what happened? What, what was your luck stopped then, didn't it? Yes, it absolutely. Pair you up with that guy; he's going to be your producer, and and, 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 and so did your luck. <laughs> my my luck has been good for all my life. I I I can't complain about anything. Well, I, I mean, it could have been that I was just good, but I never thought I was good. Well. That's that's a problem with you. I'm, well, I've never, that's I've never. You need therapy for. But I've never really thought that I was good. Well, does that sound strange? It does sound a little strange, yeah. Considering you have people that uh, listen to you constantly to this day, and are part of your life and tell you otherwise. Yeah. So, I yes, mean, I now good. that I'm 83, I realize how good I got. I can look back at it. Okay, and I can say, okay, you know, I was, I was. I had a profound I had a profound effect on some people. Well, but you but you've always you you've always had a, a knack for this. I mean, even to us speaking now, you had forgotten that we were supposed to get together today. And in minutes, you got this thing up and running, the Zoom thing going, and and the, I mean, it, it this is what you do. So you, you are good at it. Uh, but you want you know what I'm bad at? I, 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 I know a lot of things you're bad at. You don't have to single one. Solving out. problems. All right. So there was a problem that I had here. Hold on a second. I got to do something here. Oh, it's it, it's set to go. Why? It shouldn't be. Oh. It shouldn't be set to go. Anyway, people were saying there was a, a thumb coming up on my picture. What does that mean? And I couldn't figure out why. Now let me let me do let me do this. It should work. It's not working. Hmm. What the hell are you doing? I supposedly when I held a th there's a thing here. 
called reactions. Oh, wait uh, a minute. So oh. when you do this, it's, it should come up as a, a thumbs up? Yeah, it should. The thumb should like an come emoji? Up. Yeah, but uh, it's not. It? Hmm. You don't have your auto emoji, your AI emojis set, do you? No. Let me see here. You see, you're supposed to be able to do things like this. Oh, wait a minute. It's not doing it. Huh. Oh, that, that's weird. Oh, that's the wrong. I have it's coming up on you. You're, you're doing your thing. I'm no, doing well, that. it's not working now. But what happened was it was something was set to reactions here. And then when I went like this or just something like that, a thumb came up. If I went like this together, fireworks went off. Is that right? Yeah. I don't know why it's not doing it now. It should do it now. But Wow. Okay. Yeah. So anyway. So um, uh, back to success and failure. Do you feel you, you feel? I feel you were a success. You certainly in the, in, the, in what you chose to do was was be the um, go to guy for being a producer. You, you were pre did pretty oh, well. I was the go to guy. <laughs> was I? Well, you know, if I was sitting there at a radio station, I said we need a producer. I would get you. Well, there were there were several times when that happened, and and I would have to say, you know, in the same vein as you thought that it was just luck, it seems like it's just luck when when things like that happen. But in fact, it's not just luck. There's a there's a good amount of fortune in it because people thought of you at the time, but mm -hmm. they thought of you for a reason. So it's not just luck; it's skill and the fortune of the timing of how it happened. Mm -hmm. So it's not just luck. Well, I think it, it is, you know, in a lot of ways. No, in your case, in your case. You were I mean, shit. They wouldn't have said anything. They would have said, oh, yeah, Alex. Ben oh, no, don't get him. But they didn't. Were you ever bothered by the fact and, 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 and that you were somebody who aided a performer? Right? I've done that uh, to me with many performers. No, but I mean, you did that with me. You were, you were an aide to me. Yeah. You were my producer. Uh -huh. And that people think of the, the performer as being this, the, the whole thing and don't give the s people like you, as a producer, enough credit. Because uh, I'll give you no, the I'm credit not, right not, now. I think you I'm were. I'm not bothered by that at all because uh, the majority of the world is that person yeah, but people who listen to me yeah didn't know that but my opinion you were 50 percent of the show i'd like to think i was five, six. <laughs> you were at least 50 percent of the show i was doing it you were producing it but together we were working together to produce the final product no, that does, that that wouldn't bother me at all. I've I've worked at shows that that I've been very proud of that in, that involved, you know, six seven people who were all integral, and even the people whose names were on the marquee mm -hmm. didn't take credit. But somebody has to be put up on that marquee. I mean that that's the way it is. And if that person is not good enough to work with the people that are. Uh, to use the phrase uh, supporting them then th then it's not going to work either so it doesn't it doesn't really matter well I, you know i feel 50 percent of my success or failure at sirius xm was because of you so therefore i'm blaming my oh me. don't put that I, on i'm me blaming now. me getting don't fired put that on, on you. me now <laughs> 50% uh, of your success, yes, I'll take. 50% of your failure, no, no, not my failure. No, well, but you had to suffer by my failure. I don't care. You yeah. know what? Life, life is good in spite of it all. For anybody to, for anybody to be uh, somewhere for 10 years is a pretty good run, we, regardless yeah. of what industry it is, regardless yeah, we were there for, of how what? hard or, or not hard you're working. It, it's a good run. It's a testament to, to the fact that you've put out a, a product that was uh, – yeah acceptable by people and some people who didn't see that decided we should go you know <laughs> well you know there we, we've had this conversation before as to what the uh what the 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 impetus for for deciding you to go is and th there were a lot of considerations especially at that time the whole industry was changing technology changed uh certainly financing changed in that business so i don't i wouldn't put it on on any one person 
uh, or any one thing. There's a lot of considerations, I think, that that came down with that, as they do with with anybody getting shoved from a from a position. In in most cases, there are several considerations. Unless the guy is a real asshole, then got to shove. Him. Yeah, yeah. Well, we we did last a while there. You know, we were there nine years, was it? Just a ten years, almost ten years. Almost ten years. Yeah. So you know, I haven't worked since, but oh, I have worked. Uh, once with you on New Year's, once one other time at WOR mm -hmm. uh, before that, and then I went down and did a show at the at the, what is now what what in the old WOR studios. Uh, it's, but so what? Look at look at look at the industry. It ain't what it used to be. Well, yeah, I do a show. I, I do a show four times a week right here. Right. Exactly. And and. How many radio shows are there? I'll just take radio for now. You can even add television to that. How many radio shows are there compared to the number of podcasts there are? Well, there, there, how many TV shows there are there? There are several thousand the radio programs, channel? and there are four million podcasts. Exactly. That's my point. Technology has changed. That you can't, you can't equate yeah. it as you did in the past. It, it, remember in the past there were three networks that were giant. You'd get uh, p people having shows that got a, a 25 share of, of the market. 25% of the market was watching or listening to that particular program. Mm -hmm. That never happens anymore. But, and it never will. That again. happened to me in Houston, Texas. Yeah. It, it turned out 60% of the people listening to me at night, 60% of the listening audience was listening to me you know because they wanted to listen to james bond no it wasn't james bond at that point it was the man <laughs> wasn't you it? Loved. i thought it that was, was alex Texas. bennett the man you love to hate the man you uh, love to hate right? yeah anyway gotta go is that it already oh i you know, you I just did my james bond impression i was gonna go on a little more please, and I can't... please do this with me again oh you know? of course you know i mean it's just it's wonderful it, the, the discussion goes into brainy stuff which is un yeah. unlike this program <laughs> well anyway ladies and gentlemen there he is there he goes my former producer and still friend always maybe even more so now than then albert Definitely. albert albert Renoso. thanks albert thank you john Bye -bye. alex now in its ninth year this is gabnet the great american broadcast network talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, 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 how are you? 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 Uh, let me see. Let me just get a few things uh, 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 over here. Uh, there we go. Let me just get myself centered. Okay. It's Monday. It's Wednesday, and I have to reset everything. Okay. So it's, that's the way it goes. Anyway, hello, everybody. How are you? It is a, um, it is a Wednesday. Uh, and uh, is there anything really happening? Oh, there's a lot happening, and we'll, we'll talk about it in a second. But let me admit the people to this program, and I believe they are all legitimate, okay? If they're not, well, then I'll just have to edit the show. There they are. Okay, there's Jeff, and there's uh, Alan, and there's uh, Brian, and there is Charlie. So, hello, everybody. How are you? I'm doing good, thank you. Doing good. You're doing fine. Okay, wait a minute. Let me now put you all. There we go. Uh, and, uh, uh, is there anything Jeff. Happen? Jeff. Oh, okay. He got it. He got it. He killed oh, he it. He has a band aid. Hmm. He has a band aid for it. Go mute. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Um, so anyway. Uh, hello, everybody. How are you? Uh, turn the browser off, Jeff. Turn your. <laughs> turn the browser. Oh boy. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, yeah. So he left. Okay. He'll be back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I tend to do that now, too. I'm tired all the time. I'm really tired today. I, I don't know. I did a walk. I took a walk. Not me. Huh? I said, I'm tired, too. You know, I kept I kept thinking about, about walking. Marjorie always goes, you've got to do more walking, you know, and whatever. And she's lived in Philadelphia. She lived in New York. And your idea of, of exercise is walking, right? But the problem with it is, the problem with walking is, is I suddenly realized when I lived in San Francisco, I never walked. 
I got With those hills? I, no, that would yeah, there's some big hills in San Francisco. <laughs> no, but I can, especially I, in the marina. No, but more than that, I got into the uh, I got into the car and I went wherever I was going. Then I got out of the car and I got back in the car and I went somewhere else. I never walked anywhere. That's me. You know. So I, I mean, uh, it was since when the, do I have to walk anywhere? You know. So. Yeah. But now I can't even walk. It's just getting terrible, it's horrible. Uh, and I, but I'm, I'm trying. You know, I did, I did that mile today. So that's good. Well, it's not great if, if it, it, it didn't go that well. Okay, it didn't go that easy. You didn't you know? fall. No, yeah, you know, I'm. I gotta start bringing the cane with me because my yeah, great, my, my greatest fear is falling. Yep. You know, yep. and if I have the cane, it kind of at least reassures me that I'm not going to fall. Or I may, if I'm going to fall, at least I can break the fall somewhat. Yep. But I don't need the cane for walking. That's not the problem. You know, a couple of months ago when I had the leg uh, bummed up and everything, I needed it to walk. Yep. But now I just need it to make sure I'm balanced. You know? Yep. And then on top of that, we got this cat now. See, I, I don't have... You still have the cat? Wow. No, we just got the cat back. Oh. They decided to go on another vacation. It seems we do a very good job of taking care of the cat so they can go on vacations, okay? So we have the cat back again. Well, the, the cat's gotten better at this, but not that much better. To where I'm walking, and all of a sudden the cat walks in front of me. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Okay. So. And I figure this cat's going to kill me. Trying you know? to trip you. He's going to trip me. I'm going to fall. Likes bang, Marjorie better. Bang my head on something. I'm dead. And the cat's killed me. So I'm going to kill the cat before he kills me. Why don't yeah, you so we, we, have a, we have a cat. And the cat sleeps upstairs here somewhere in the hallway or wherever at night. And I'm the first one to get up, and it's dark still. Mm -hmm. And so right when I open the door, he's already heard me, like, getting ready in the shower, I think. And he's waiting for me, so he gets there. And then he'll sit at the top of the stairs, and I'll walk halfway down, and he comes flying down right by me. So usually I veer to the right because he goes to the left. And then one time he went to the left, and I almost ate what it. What are they trying to do, kill you or get your attention? Like he's trying to beat me down the stairs, and I'm like, go ahead, start. You can beat me. I'll let you beat me. It's okay. Yeah. Well, anyway, so the, 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 the cat, well, the cat isn't doing that as much, but I still have to watch out for the cat. I really do, sure. you know. I that's... don't think the cat understands that you have a problem with walking, mobility. Yeah, have you really talked to the cat about it? <laughs> yeah, really. Huh? <laughs> Have you really sat down and talked to the cat about your walking Well, problem? you know, I, I, I've tried to have discussions with cats before. Yeah. I mean, one talk, time. One talk, time. Talk about it to us all the time. So well, you might as well give it like a half hour at least to the cat. Well, when I was first living here in New York, I had five cats. Don't ask why. It's just, <laughs> it's just they kept screwing and we always kept one, you know? <laughs> so anyway, uh, I, uh, I had this, this, these five cats. And, uh, you know, every one of them would, like, find a different way to crap, where a place to crap and stuff like that, you know? And uh, it, the house was, it was getting unruly. It's upstairs here somewhere in the hallway or wherever at night, and I'm the first one to get up, and it's dark still. Mm -hmm. And so right when I open the door, he's already heard me, like, getting ready in the shower, I think, and he's waiting for me, so Jeff. he gets it. Jeff. And then he'll sit at the top of the stairs, and I'll walk halfway down. Jeff, and just turn off down, right? your... You, you've got your audio going again. So usually I veer to yeah. the right. Where's Pam? Pam! And then one time you... Pam, <laughs> we need you. Are they trying to do kill you? Or... There we go. No, it's... <laughs> I muted him. I muted him. Jeff, where's Pam? Hey, there's Pam. Yay! Hi, Turn Pam. Turn the browser off, Pam. Hi, Pam. Okay, ask to unmute. There we go. Jeff's only a caller, and he needs his own engineer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, he, just, he just needs to mute his um, YouTube. Uh, yeah, all you have to do is get rid of the browser, or get rid of the stuff. get rid of the. Uh, uh, oh, Looking at all the porn he's got open too. Jeez, come on, close <laughs> some of that. 
They're both ignoring us. Yeah. Well, I think it's okay now. It's all right now. So, anyways, uh, oh, no. I, I had this, this, these five ten. Just talk. And, uh, you know, one of them like, <laughs> crap. We're a place to crap and stuff like that, you know? And uh, it, the house was... Yeah. They're both ignoring us. Yeah. Well, I think it's okay now. It's all Are we right. good? <laughs> no, it's not good. It's That's still good. not good? No. He's saying it's not good. Oh, yeah. Just talk. Ham, yeah. do you have a browser open? You know, well, it. no, the browser, he needs the browser open to be able oh, to yeah, use well, for the this, he does. To close use everything the, yeah. except for one. But you okay. should well, close everything and then call back. Good. Yeah, and then, Is it still not good? No. no. You have to get, just get. Just, just go just, to YouTube and mute it on YouTube. <laughs> Damn, do you have a browser open? I'm trying to figure this out. Hang on. You just go up to the browser. You go to the browser. Up above, you have all these little tabs. Just kill all of them except for the one that says Zoom. Close everything and then call back. You have to get just get go to YouTube and mute it on YouTube. It's a little speaker. Exactly. Just, just a little up speaker. Browser, up above, you have all these little shit. Right click, it says mute there. this tab. Oh, oh, it's, yeah. oh boy. Yeah. The, 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 is it done? Is it okay? Can you hear yeah. me? Can you hear me, Jeff? Okay, I think I think you killed. I think you killed it. Yeah. I think you killed it. Well, don't talk to each other because now we can't talk to each other up here. I don't blame anybody if they just left watching this program. You know. The browser that wouldn't die. The browser. I think we got it. You think you got it? Okay. Did you figure out how you got it? Yeah. No. It was just a lot open, guys. It took me a minute to yeah. figure it out. This is not the computer I usually work on. Yeah, right. Of course. <laughs> anyway, thank you, Pam. We really appreciate it. Uh, You're muted. Yeah, I will come up to Connecticut and teach Jeff computer. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Good. Okay. Anyway, thank Bye. you, thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. Oh boy. Anyway, now I'm really Sorry, guys. now I'm really tired. No problem. Mm -hmm. Anyway, as I was saying well, about cats, they is shed that they, they they one would go in the bathtub and one would go in the hair and one would go there, and uh, I I one day I decided you know I used to like spank them a little bit like don't do that or don't do this, and finally I just decided that. Maybe that's the wrong thing. Maybe I should just sit down with all the cats. Have a talk. And have a talk. Yes. Right? Genius. Did you get that on video? Because I know cats, they didn't listen to shit. Well, so I, li <laughs> <laughs> I, I lined them all up on the bed, on the foot of the bed. And they did this. <laughs> well, no, they actually were looking at me. Because they couldn't figure out why I was... Talking, and I sat there and I went, you know, we all live in this apartment together. <clears throat> we all have to get along. We all have to admire <laughs> each uh, each other's space, okay? And yeah. if everybody just recognizes that everybody else needs a little bit of space and a little bit of uh, of help, you know, here in making our lives better, we can we can get along just fine, and everything will be great. And they all looked at me. And then they went and shit wherever they wanted to shit. So you know, it just it it it, it doesn't work. You can't sit down and have a discussion with a cat. You know, well, I watch a lot of cat videos, and they have these videos of they have like the the owners will put like aluminum foil on the countertop, and the cat goes to jump up it, and right when they land on it, they jump back because they're so afraid of the noise and whatever. Yeah, it's pretty funny. <laughs> Yeah. What brand of aluminum foil? Any, any aluminum foil. I don't have a cat, so I have to worry about it. Yeah. Well, this cat has a little deal she does. She she likes using the laser pointer. Oh, yeah. Right. Uh, uh, cats like, like that, okay? Mm -hmm. So there's a laser pointer, and we leave it on the counter, 
And also she has some treats she eats, and we leave those on the counter, okay? So every now and then if she's really good, we give her one of these treats she likes, okay? Mm -hmm. Well, she doesn't wait to be good, and she doesn't wait to get her treat or to use the laser. She gets, gets up on the counter and knocks them all onto the floor. Constantly. <laughs> I have a laser pointer, a, a big one from work, and I shoot that one around a little bit, and then sometimes I'll come over and grab the remote, and the cat comes running over, like, looking everywhere. Because <laughs> I got the remote, they think it's the laser pointer. Well, the cat got, uh, uh, the, uh, recently, I think, has gotten used to, you know, not using uh, a, um, a laser pointer. She, for some reason, doesn't react that well to the laser pointer, but then I suddenly found out that she was reacting to the fact that my watch was hitting the sunlight, oh. and that was moving something around. She was going crazy over that, yeah. you know. But anyway, so we got the cat again, so. And this morning, oh, this morning, yeah. Uh, the cat's gotten really used to living with us now. It, right. You know, uh, her other parents are just her other parents, okay? We're her... <laughs> this is this is Camp Schwarzman. It's like a summer camp for cats with the hallway and everything like that, right? Yeah, room to roam. Oh, you're room to roam and room to hide, I might add. Uh, so anyway, uh, she uh, so she she kind of has gotten to enjoy it. But every morning, every night, Marjorie takes the food away and then puts it back down in the morning. The reason she does this is she was told by the cat's owner to do it this way. So we do it that way. Marjorie feels she has to abide by her rules and regulations for the cat. So this morning, the cat never gets up on the bed. This morning, I wake up, the cat is on the bed with me. And he's looking at me. She's looking <laughs> at me. Like, hey, time to get up. You know, get out of bed. Thank you. Well, Marjorie had overslept. And you know what she did? She, Marjorie's feet were above the, the comforter, so the cat went over and started making biscuits on her uh, on her on her socks <laughs> to wake her up. Come on, wake up, get me some food. That's what it was all about. So you know, I mean, it's, this is the cat's getting a little too smart. Okay, dogs but, don't do that. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I like cats, because I like I, that kind of smartness that cats have. Oh, I <laughs> that's see. why I have a Wi-Fi cats feeder. Cats own you. You own dogs. Yeah. I have a Wi-Fi feeder. It feeds them at certain times of the night, and then I can push a button on my phone and feed it whenever the hell I want to. Oh, really? What do you see? Oh, yeah. It's set at 4 o'clock in the morning, 12 noon, and uh, so, 8 o'clock well, at night. Since we don't permanently have a cat, okay... Uh, we we really can't get we haven't gotten one. Of yeah, those. you don't need one. Yeah, yeah, we don't need those. So, excuse me, I need an anti. Uh, an yeah, anti but ours used to get us up at four o'clock in the morning, and my wife doesn't get up till five. Oh, really? But he would come up onto the bed. There was two of them, and they'd get up on the bed and just pound us. Yeah, because four o'clock <clears> is when they wanted to eat. Well, I and used I to have a cat. Enough of that crap. I used to have a cat to wake me up in the morning. Who would lick my eyelids? Oh, oh yeah, they do weird <laughs> stuff. They lick your face. They'll do mm -hmm. weird stuff, and they got that sandpaper tongue, and it just yeah takes the shit out of you. Yeah, yeah. And they don't stop. They don't care. They do whatever the hell they want. That's right. Well, they, this cat was a sweet cat. So yeah. Well, they're I, sweet when they're they're fed and, they and, they're, and everything is fine. Well, yeah. The they're, thing when I, they want to be. The thing I like about cats over dogs, you know. Uh, to begin with, a dog, when you feed them, eats everything at once. You know, <clears throat> just chows it all down. Yep. Cats take a little now and a little bit later and a little bit later. You know, they just, they're, they, they, they're, dogs yeah. are, din, dogs are binge eaters and cats are like, you know, they just take their time, you know, hey, it's a nice little treat. I'll have a, mm, have a little bit here. Oh, maybe a little bit of the kibble, and I'll drink some water. All right. <laughs> well, and we've dog. been dealing with a sick one for the last month. Oh, really? Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, boy. He wasn't eating for a week. 
Wow. And then we just spend another fifteen hundred dollars on tests, find out his kidneys oh. are failing, and all oh. kinds of crap. Jeez, oh, Almighty! I remember yeah. when you used to take a cat to the the vet and you walked out, and it was fifteen bucks. No, it, no, 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 no. No, oh no! I'm. I suddenly one day there was a vet somewhere who suddenly said, "You know, I think these people really love their pets, and I think they'll spend yeah. anything to keep them alive." Yeah. Somebody somewhere. Yep. Because, I mean, yeah. two hundred bucks for a for a urine culture and a <laughs> uh, and a blood test. Really, two hundred and seventy bucks. Seven and that's cash. you don't get to see the doctor on that one. You just go in and get the test, and they call you in a couple of days. Oh wow! Well, I um, uh, they, I'll tell you where I used to take my cat here in New York. Whenever he would have something really bad, there was a place called the Animal Medical Center. And it was literally a hospital for animals. You could take your cat there. You could take your dog there. They hmm. also would take lions there from the circus. I mean, they would take on any kind of animal. And yeah, that's what we have out here, yeah. Because yeah. we're in an agricultural area. And you can take your horse in there if you want. Yeah. And we, uh, we had, uh, you know, it was wonderful to be able to take my cat there because when something horrible happened to him or, you know, something that needed a little more than just... Uh, hmm sitting there and waiting for the cat to throw up, you know, which they usually do anyway. Uh, 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 but, I mean, I just, I always like cats over dogs because I just, I like their independence, you know? It's like, yeah, I love you, I love you, feed me, feed me. Oh, you fed me? Fuck you. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. They're low maintenance. Yeah, they are. Yeah, I mean, but I like that honesty because yeah. that's the way I'd be. You yeah. fed me? I'm happy. I love you. I love you. I love you. You fed me to hell with you. Goodbye. See you later. Yeah. I have no use for you anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Let me go see if I can trip you while you're walking yeah, exactly, around. Exactly. Exactly. But I mean, I just, I just always like the independence of cats, you know, and and the attitude of cats, and uh, they, just, they they automatically know where to shit too. <laughs> you don't have to teach this cat. Okay. Automatically. All we did is we put a box down with with uh, in the bathroom with the litter. The litter in it. Just showed it to her, and from then on, that's where she goes. Okay, all this the time. room was shit. Yeah, yeah, they know. Yeah, where a dog has to be taken out, and you have to walk them, and then yeah. when they poop, you have to pick up the poop. You yeah. got to clean it up. And and somebody <laughs> once said that if aliens ever came down here and saw this, they. <laughs> They'd think the dog was the master, right? You know, be carrying around a little bag full of poop. Yeah, and, the, and, the and other, then if you don't pick it up, whoever saw you not pick it up shoots you. Yeah, <laughs> or charges. Or does you. a video and sends it into the city. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Or or puts it on Facebook. Yeah. Right. yeah. So what's wrong with that? Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> we, we, right I, I, I here. like that. <laughs> right down here, we have a busy street people like walking their dogs on, and then we have the school, the the soccer fields, and yeah. a lot of people walk their dogs here. And then they come, we have a big lawn in the front yard, yep. and they stop, and then as they're pooping, they'll look around, they look up, and I'm like, looking this, they're looking down at them. Yep, they yep. Take it. That's yeah, but, when you open up the door and stare but, at but them. But you know what you don't see anymore? Do you remember this? I, I remember this from when I was growing up. There it was dog crap everywhere. And it was oh, yeah. would get so old it would turn white. Do you remember that? Yeah. <laughs> you don't see white dog crap anymore around. You know. No, you go to San Francisco and it's people crap on the street. Yeah, well that's oh, oh shit, different story altogether. <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> anyway, so so I was very happy to see that my former judge <laughs> today <laughs> fined Donald Trump ten thousand dollars. Hmm. Is it's that like all? 20 cents to He's a billionaire. Come on, he has that in his back pocket. That's right. Well, nevertheless, he charged him $10,000. And if Trump had a lot of money, why did he get up on the stand and try to plead with the judge not to charge him the $10,000? This is cheap ass. Yeah. It supposedly, he said something about his assistant again yep. to the press. Yeah, I know. And when he came I think back in, lock him up for seven days or something. That's really what they should do. Well, I, he yeah. did say the last time that if he did it again, he might have a tendency to want to throw him in jail. But <laughs> I think the reason he's not throwing him in jail is that's exactly what Donald wants. Yeah. You know, 
oh, look, yeah, this is going to be a whole Hitler thing, you know, because Hitler went to jail, and yeah. after he came out of jail, he was more popular than when he went in. You know? I think it would be sweet if, if Trump lost the primary. Well, you know, he's it's getting to the point where I don't know if he's going to be able to run. Yeah. You know, I mean, there, there's a lot of these people are turning on him. Uh, <laughs> well, not the new yeah, Speaker of the House. <clears throat> yeah, look who just got Speaker of the House. A very backed Trumper. No, and, but, but 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 that that doesn't matter. That doesn't I, that, that, that that doesn't help Trump's defense. In but the I court think of law. that I think that they voted because of that. I think a lot of people voted, and he got the win because of that. Yeah, I, I mean, don't think so. I don't heard think, of him. I, He's from uh, Louisiana. I, I think it still shows that Trump's Trump's still there. I have no idea why, but I, I just see no, that. No, I think what you got is a small group of people in the Republican Party who want to vote for somebody <laughs> like that, okay? And they can't, they can't, they couldn't, they couldn't uh, pass anybody unless they had the whole Republican contingent to do it. Mm -hmm. And and that's what happened there. It wasn't that they were trying to save Trump's ass, but that they were trying to get themselves somebody in there, and they would only accept somebody who was somebody who believed that the you know the what do you call it the uh, election, the election was rigged. Election was stolen. Yeah, yeah. but I, I'm still worried. Yeah. No, I think uh, uh, I think I think Trump is actually toast. If you want my opinion, because all these people who are turning tail on him. You know, and every day there's another one who pleads guilty and says, "Okay, I'll I'll take my my, you know, I'll, I'll I'll turn tail on Trump," and it's it's getting to be pretty regular here. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, you know, only time will tell. Um, so there's somebody's huh? house down the street from us, and he has a big Trump. I love Trump or whatever it says. Uh, you know, and those guys put their stuff up, and uh, they still got to keep it up. They're not I'll, uh, burning I'll, them down yet. I'll I'll send you an AK-47, and you can change the sign. Nah. Well, they put they put a bumper sticker on their car like <laughs> that, and they may as well put a bumper sticker on their car that says "Key Me." Uh, you know, so. or break my windows. I don't have an AK-47. Sorry, Jeff. No, that's all right. I wouldn't, Just the I wouldn't know what to do with it. Yeah. yeah. Spray paint works good in the middle of the night. Put a mask on so they don't know what hey, you look, what a person's <laughs> political feelings are, that's their political feelings. And while I don't agree with them, and I find it, what is that all about? What are you doing? What is what is that? Who? Brought a bright light. Kevin? Oh, I was just changing batteries in a flashlight. Oh, okay. All right. Sorry. <laughs> He's checking his box tonight, you know, checking off his stuff to do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's tuning up. Sorry. Well, yeah. there's no Phil, so we can't do our bills anymore while Phil's on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Did I say that? Oops. Uh oh, I think I spilled. Nobody's watching, anyways. Let's see. What else? Phil's do I not watching, do? anyways. Hmm. I got my county tax bill for the next year and a half or next year. No, really? How much was it? Uh, you pay it in November, and then you pay it like four months later. Uh, Twelve hundred and some dollars. Uh, Twenty-four, a little under twenty-five hundred for the year. Well, uh, I guess that's not terrible. Uh, I don't feel. I feel bad. Yeah. Was it t property tax? Yeah. Well, that's not bad. Yeah. I feel oh, well, uh, property tax. Uh, uh, twenty-five hundred dollars. You're gonna free. $2,500 for the year. The 23, 24. Like, years <laughs> ago, didn't they pass a law in California yeah. <laughs> where they didn't have property tax? No. no. Oh, no, uh, no. Oh. See, oh. but I've been in the house I with wish. the Proposition 13. Yeah, Proposition 13 uh, when I bought the house when I was 19. So, mm, you know, they twice can't as much move as that that money. Money. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody two two, two like, X. Uh, that's probably one month's payment for you on your property taxes, huh, Brian? <laughs> Worse. Better. Better, I guess, on your side. Yeah. Yeah, wow. 
Well, whatever happened to that? I remember they had that, that thing where they, at least years ago in California where they passed a law that they did away with uh, property taxes. No. No. Oh, maybe no. nothing in the property tax. But the, the, property. the only they, property they, tax they, thing happened in the 70s called the Jarvis. That's Camp. it. That's it. Yeah. And yeah, it, and they it just, just says that, you know, that you they can't raise your taxes more than like 1.2 percent per year or something. Yeah, oh, but they that fixed it? that, too. Yeah, yeah, they they put a they put a number on that because I just sold my mom's house. Well, oh. They just sold my mom's house, and it's they they found things around that this last year. Uh, Newsom signed a a bill, and <clears throat> we're paying buku taxes on that sale. Hmm. Okay, because yeah, they well, reassessed I, the house at the current value you know, and all that other. It shows crap. you how long it's been since I've lived in California. Oh, yeah. yeah, and it I ain't like, like it used to be. I'd like, would like to move, but it's like, you know, how low we got the house and the property tax. And you know, we look at another nice house with a pool, same area, sort of, but maybe up a little bit for us. But the property tax. Is I don't know. I've always been one of these people who really believes good. you shouldn't, you shouldn't tax the people. You should tax the know. corporations. Well, one of my neighbors has the exact same model home I did. They bought it in 2013. Mm -hmm. They're paying $27,000 a year in taxes. Really? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Well, you know. Uh, well, you know, uh, being that I'll be almost 65 and I bought the house when I was 19, it's a long time ago. It's like a century ago or something. So, mm -hmm. yeah, taxes were a lot lower then. Yeah. Well, 1978 or something like that. The yeah. other thing that's really been bothering me is there's a story that's, that's happened here in, uh, in uh, show business. Uh, there's this woman who was a, a an agent over at CAA, which is one of the big talent agencies. Ah. And she was on the board of directors or something like that. And she was thrown off of it the other day because she did a tweet that wasn't pro-Israel. Uh. What she basically said was is she felt, said she felt that um, uh, uh, Israel was engaging in genocide. Which, if you figure, what, 1,200 Israelis got killed, and now it's over 6,500 6, people in Gaza have gotten killed. Well, what do you call genocide exactly? You know, I mean, it's only a matter of opinion, but you could consider that a form of genocide because they're, you know, they're killing more innocent people than they're killing members of Hamas. Now she that. didn't say she didn't write anything pro Hamas. She just said, you know, Israel is is engaging in in a genocide, and should be taken to task for that too. Uh, now whether you agree or disagree with it, I just think it's a valid opinion. You know, it's a valid opinion whether you agree with it or not. It, it they're they're entitled to have that opinion if they want it, because. Israel, and I've said this before, is a political entity. It's a, it's a political state, and uh, it it can make mistakes, and it can be brutal, and it can do all kinds of things. I've never been very fond of Israel uh, as as a nation because I think as a nation, they've done some terrible things. Uh, Anti-Zionist, uh, huh? Anti-Zionist. Yeah. Well, I'm anti-Zionist. I've always been anti-Zionist. Yeah, anti -Zionist. well, we know that. That's yeah. what I'm, I'm saying. Yeah. Um, uh, because, uh, but, but, I mean, Zionism, uh, but it, it doesn't matter. It, the thing is that it's called like a Jewish state, but it's not. Everybody goes, oh, was, that's your homeland. And I go, no, it's not. My homeland is the United States of America. Thank you very okay. much. You know? Yeah. And I just felt kind of like this woman was being given a bad time for this because what we're living in is a day and age where if you don't have the polit politically accepted opinion you can lose your job you know and who's to state what the right answer or the wrong answer is I mean today's lie or today's um, something bad that you might say is uh, tomorrow's truth so yeah. there's uh, there's uh, two big Jewish donors to Penn State. 
both of them pulled the plug millions of dollars pulled the plug this year because they're allowing pro-palestinian um you know rallies and also at uh, maybe columbia university one of the big universities in new york some big donors pulled the money too you know and and money talks i mean it's, it's, yeah but what's to say uh, you know you're a palestinian uh, it doesn't mean by the way that you hate Jew, no. Jews or anything else, you may, no. may just dislike Israel, right? That's right. There's a difference. That's, it's a political thing, yeah, and that's, and that's and so you're a Palestinian living in America, and you want to you know stand up for your side because Palestinians <clears throat> are being killed in this. I think you know those people in Gaza are Palestinians, if I'm not mistaken. You know, and so uh, they have every right to to protest their side of the story they're not saying hey yay yay hamas if they did that i'd say you're full of crap okay hamas is a terrible terrible organization that has created an incredible genocide against a a group of people uh the palestinian americans have the right to, to protest here i got no problem with that uh, yeah it's but built into the constitution and is like i think it's gonna i think it's gonna backfire on them I think they're going to be like at, right after 9-11 where we went after everybody Muslim. I think that a lot of people are stupid and they're going to go after, um, you know, uh, the, these people for being Palestinian. I think it's wrong, but I think, you know, it's, mm. it's what people are going to do. I mm. think it's a backfire on them. Hello to Tony. Turn your camera <laughs> sideways, Tony. Oh, by the way, oh, Tony. Tony's I'm on the couch. To me oh no! Wait a minute. That didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. All right. I'll leave it the other way. What? Tony what? starts texting me for the first time in a week uh, that the doctor stuck his finger up his ass. Today. Yeah, I went to the oncologist today. You know, can't you, on, you know when you I'm went on to the a show, what? Don't text me one. I went for the follow up like you do, Alex. I'm undetectable. No. He said. No, you right. are undetectable, not the right. cancer. What about the PSA? Oh, yeah, you <laughs> both, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, all, I'm, went right up the all, 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 all I'm saying, getting back to what we were talking yeah. about, is that, that. that, you know, it. it's, um, I think we've gotten to the point now where you get in trouble because you don't have the opinion that you're supposed to have, you know? You're right. Uh, and uh, while, uh, I, I, you know, it, it's, it, I couldn't see anybody standing up for Hamas. That seems ridiculous. But if somebody wants to stand up for Hamas, I'll stand up for his right to stand up for Hamas if he wants to. You know? Yeah, it might, it might, it might go in New York. And, and I would disagree to, with it. I would tell him, pal, you're full of crap. Texas. You know? Texas, they'd probably be shot. No, Texas doesn't care. Texas is anti-Semitic down there. Yeah. Oh, they're bad down there, right? Hmm? There's a they're lot of anti-Semitism in Texas. Yeah, you bet your oh, life. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I remember true. the first thing ever happened to me in Houston, Texas, when I moved there, is they went and they had a... Uh, they they entered me in a... What do they call it? A uh, What's one uh, automobile... When they get a bunch of automobiles and they smash into each other? Oh, yeah, the smash up derby. Demolition derby. Demolition derby. Oh, demolition derby. They, they entered me in a demolition derby. I don't know why the station tried to see if they could fill off, uh, kill off their disc jockeys, right? <laughs> so I go down there and I'm in this demolition derby. Meanwhile, my wife's up in the stands and she's right next to somebody... And the guy starts coming on to her, and she says to him, well, "I'm sorry, but you know I'm married." And she says, "Oh, you're married? Oh, to who?" And he says, "Oh, that guy down there in that that car, you know, in the demolition derby." And he said, "Oh, the Jew boy." Oh wow! You know that is wow. so. I learned right then and there. I was in a place where maybe I had to worry. Am I right? Did, am I completely wrong about this, Charlie? Because you're in Texas right now. No, you're not wrong at all. Yeah, wow. so I found out what anti-Semitism was all about, <clears throat> you know. I, I know a lot of women that would have made sure the next place that guy went after the, watching the, the destruction derby was the dentist to get his teeth put back in. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, that's, you know, that, but, but, but if people want to have an opinion, fine, have it, as long as you don't hurt someone else with that opinion. Yeah, I'm, you know? I'm fine with that, too. But I don't like the idea 
that you have to have a certain opinion, <clears throat> otherwise you're going to lose your job. Uh, uh, by the way, Aaron Sorkin was represented by this agent and just dropped the agent because of the comments she made online. And mm. I read them and I went, eh, you know, mm. it, it, weren't an, it wasn't anti-Semitic. It was maybe yeah, anti-Israel, but it wasn't anti-Semitic. So, I mean, okay. do you disagree with me, Jeff, that you're not necessarily anti-Semitic if you don't agree with Israel? Yeah, of course. I, th I think one of the things, like, that I've seen in Israel a change over the last 20 years or whatever mm -hmm. is that there's a lot more orthodox, orthodox Jews in Israel. And, and there's a lot of strange relationships between them because the Orthodox guys won't join the, the military. They don't have to. It's not that they won't. Is it against the religion? They, they don't okay. have to, yeah, cause it, right. it, because they are uh, Orthodox Jews. That's right. And they don't believe in, uh, in, yeah. in, in getting into wars or joining up with wars or whatever. Yeah. I, I agree with you. I'm sure Jeff, you you would say that's wrong, and I would say that's wrong. I think I think you can believe at any level of Judaism. I'm not Orthodox, but you could believe at any well, level of okay. Judaism you want. But you need to, if the if the Reform Jews need to fight, you need to fight too. Well, let's say you're an Israeli. You think so? Let's say you're an Israeli. I mean, if I were an Israeli, I would immediately say, where do I sign up to fight this thing? Sure. You know, because I'm an Israeli. And it's my country, and I want to protect my country. I think the fact that Orthodox Jews won't do it is kind of wrong, that they're not standing up for the very country that has given them some kind of a homeland where they could live and wear their payas and comfort. You know? we, have, we have Jews that work as cops in this country, and they are taking their vacation time to go get in line in, in Israel to go into, into, into battle. Oh, yeah. really? Oh, hey, happen. look, if you believe in it, you go fight yeah, for it. Yeah, that's the way I believe in it. I mean, I, right. I'm not going, but, you know, you know, I mean, uh, I, I fucking have a heart attack three steps into the into the wind. <laughs> See, I just think there, are better, I think, I think there are better ways to solve this thing. And even, even yeah. Biden has asked that they use restraint. Absolutely. You know, that, 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 that the desire to get even is a very hard desire to quell. Yep, okay, sure it's a, and what you really need to do is it's much more ethical and a good idea to be um, uh, uh, to be prudent about how you handle the situation. Revenge is complicated. Re yeah, revenge is easy. Revenge is easy yeah. too. It's a very simple reaction, but yeah, restraint reaction. It, restraint is is very difficult. But yeah, may so. many times be the yeah. answer, you know. You know, you know what I was going to say, Alex. That's a good point because remember Desert uh, when we got uh, when they went after Saddam Hussein. Yeah, we was a knee jerk reaction. We had to go attack somebody, and we actually made it worse over there. Instead of we got somebody's got to pay for this, but you know what I'm saying. Well, he had nothing probably to do with it, even though he was a maniac, and you actually hurt the Middle East more taking him out of power. Because somebody had to pay for 9-11 right away. Well, I mean, Saddam Hussein wasn't as much of a maniac as our government made him out to be. Well, that's what I was saying. They okay. were, pump, they were he wasn't, him up the, He the wasn't a sweetheart, but, but compared to some other people on this planet, he, you know, um, uh, take the, uh, the, you know, the uh, Ayatollahs in, in, in Iran. They're terrible. Mm. They're just terrible. Um, but... Uh, uh, here's a guy now who they took out and uh, we allowed him to be uh, hung, executed. And mm -hmm. now we find out that actually all of what we did was kind of wrong. Oh, yeah, gee, like, really? We got the wrong guy. Really? They never found the yeah. weapons of mass destruction. It was all. Oh, I would have, if I was George W. Bush, I would have planted, had the, 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 the <laughs> yeah, if you CIA gotta or something some, plant some. You got to show us something. You know, to make it look like there were yeah. some or something. He was an idiot. There. Put something there. Come out with it. Yeah, well, really I mean, put he, something there. You know, he I was, a, he was a terrible person. He took advantage of his country. Yeah. You know, he took advantage of his, uh, uh, of his, of his people. Uh, he yeah. was not a good guy, but he wasn't 
on the level that we portrayed him in order to be able to go in there and prosecute that war, which probably shouldn't have happened because when it happened, I went, oh, wait a minute, let me get this. Um, uh, uh, we, uh, we were in um, Afghanistan and places like that and in Pakistan and uh, we had uh, Saddam, uh, Osama bin Laden and his group, and uh, they caused 9-11. So we went into Pakistan and, and Afghanistan looking for him in the hills of Afghanistan. Yeah. And, and all that made sense. But then all of a sudden, one day, George Bush goes, and we're going to go into um, uh, Iraq. Iraq. And we're gonna we're gonna go after him there. Why? Yep, I mean, what what did one it. have to do with the other? They yeah. said, was it true, Alex? I remember reading it somewhere. Did Saddam Hussein? Did George Bush have a hard on for Saddam Hussein? Did he almost try to? Was there something between those two when he was in office? I believe I there what it was, was there was something, and I can't remember what it was. He exactly. had a grudge against him. Yeah. I, I, I think. I think I think George W. Bush was revenging what his father tried to do against Saddam Hussein and failed. Yeah, I, I think he believed that his that Saddam had tried to uh, assassinate Have his father. Assassinate like, yeah. his father, and so he was going back to now was the time. Let's go back after him. But again, we're talking yeah. revenge here, which is not a good exactly. reason to do which anything. Is, you know. uh, yeah, well, Dick Cheney told him he could do it. It's the country, but, you know, at <clears throat> least in those days, I could say what I'm saying now about, you know, how we handled that whole situation in Iraq, and I don't have to pay any price for it. But if the same mentality that exists today existed back then, if I mentioned that I, that I, you know, this whole thing was a phony or whatever, you know, what did, what did Saddam Hussein have to do with 9-11, which was nothing? Mm -hmm. Because we were avenging 9-11, you remember that. Yeah, we needed to put a face. We needed a well, face. No, what we needed, what well, we did is we found an excuse. You know. Yeah, let's go in there. Well, why and, didn't they, they go, just, somebody mean, had to pay? You know, all these terrorists came from Saudi Arabia. Why didn't we go bomb them? Because Saudi Arabia is in the oil business, yeah. uh -huh. just just like oh, the Bushes. Oh yes, oh yes. Yeah. And the Bushes are in the oil business. And well, so who, that's who, why uh, we didn't who rushed them out? And who rushed them out after at 9-11? Absolutely. And by we the way, by the way, we flew Osama, them out before we yeah. shut down the skies in this country. What was Osama bin Laden? He wasn't a he wasn't a uh, 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 an Iraqi. You no. know, he wasn't from he was Iran. Saudi Arabia. He was Saudi yeah. Arabian. He was Saudi Arabian. And we trained him too. We did train but him. Yeah. Cheney yeah, wanted war because Halliburton was going bankrupt, and Halliburton cleaned up in the war. Uh -huh. I mean, they billions and billions of oh. dollars they got from that war. Before oh, Dick yeah. Cheney became yeah, vice that's president, yeah. he, was the, he was the president of Halliburton. Yeah. Hey, well, it's been this old saying that I've always gone back to, is whenever you wonder why we're prosecuting a war somewhere, follow the money. Yep. Yeah, because somebody's yeah. making money off it, yeah. Yeah. And yep. Brian, you're very quiet. Oh, yeah. Brian? <laughs> when he faced out, oh. he's reading up on how to talk to a cat, how to talk to a cat. Yeah, that's what he's yeah. doing. Bob's cats, I heard that was cool. Yeah, well, actually, oh. we, we Tony, you going back to your doctor, your uh, your, your 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 urologist again next week, so we can stick his hand up to your up your poop. No, that's the urologist. It's not till a couple of months. I'm, I'm you're gonna miss him, today. aren't you? The way he keeps sticking it. Well, up this there. one grabbed me, Alex. This one grabbed me like they grabbed you. Oh, he says you're undetectable. Then he had the PA come in to just you know check me over, and then he left. I said, well, wait a minute. I said, that's undetectable. That would be the blood test coming back. Right. Yeah, my PSA. Yeah. yeah. He's, everything looks excellent. Oh, okay. I'm not so dying. What did, he, <laughs> what did he stick his? Uh, what did oh, he... the PA came in, Alex, and they had to do like she went up my hiney like yours. She says, "Breathe out and bend over." Yeah, but it's easy for you to say. <laughs> yeah, get your hand out of there, and it'd be easier. Well, you, you know, know something. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta say this. This is the best yeah. your sex life's been in 20 years. <laughs> Alex, can I ask you a question? Is it funny? I'm starting to, I told my sister, she says, how was it? Because she was texting me from school because she was on lunch. 
I said, you know, Nana, I said, I'm starting to get used to this now. <laughs> Do you get used to it now? Oh, yeah. He just, he, he, he just it's ordered like second the... nature now. Wait a minute. We, like have, we're we, 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 we have a child here. I'm, oh, I'm sorry. No, still... no, no, no. She has her headphones on. She has her headphones okay. on. Yeah, I told her to put her headphones on. I oh. think Tony just ordered the starter kit of dildos to practice. <laughs> See, you want me to input in this conversation? Yeah. No, I don't even. I'd rather, want to, I'd rather, I'd rather even talk want... about the mass shooting. I do. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's better than no sex at all. Uh, well, uh, Alex, you convinced me. I finally got my own urologist, and he is a nice oh, guy. I really like him. It, to find, if you find a nice urologist, hold yeah. on to them like they're grim death. Uh, I got okay. one too. Oh, my guy calls myself. Uh, he holds on to you. <laughs> I can't yeah. believe this shit. He really Let cares. me hold your shoulders, Tony, as I take it. <laughs> she told me to bend over. I was like, I'm hey, wait a Did you hear what he said? Like Jody she. Ford's. She. Yeah, it was a she. Yeah. His PA, yeah, yeah. She was a proctologist. Now she's a urologist. Oh. It's, it's Sean Zimberg's associate, his uh, PA. He, he no. comes in, he gives me everything, doctor, you know, the colleges, and then she does the, the exam. She does the finger thing and everything? Exactly. She does the finger thing. He's too high up in the chain now, I said. My GP, the boss doesn't GPA do it is no a She won't do the, the finger thing. I've seen six months, Tony. Okay. If you want to, make um, her, want to get a good laugh out of her next time she does it, say, does this mean yeah. I have to buy you dinner? I should, use one of your, I should call you up. But yeah, I'm going to write that down. <laughs> it's like, so Alex is right. This is like second nature now. Yeah, I, I, have my, I have my next uh, in uh, in January. Yeah. Part of okay. getting my older. yearly. Yeah, it's now yearly. Yeah, it's well, part of getting good. older, and it sucks. Well, no, I, I they get they do it initially. They do it every uh, like three months, and then, it was three. Now it's six. Yeah. And then it's six, and then it's a, a year. Yeah. yeah. Well, I do it. My doctor, my urologist, does it once a year when I come in to see him. My PSA is low. My PSA was uh, um, something low. No, well, mine hey, is. Hey, so how, how about that new speaker of the house? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. How about them Rangers? Yeah. Hey. Hey, yeah. Your Texas is in the World Series, Charlie. Yeah. I, love, I loved how Bruce I was Bochy's watching it today, and they're like going apoplectic. The Republicans on how proud they are <laughs> that they have managed <laughs> to find us, get a speaker of the house, and I'm thinking to myself, this took you three months. Yeah. Oh. It took you three months. I was going to ask you this, Alex. I'm listening to Ten Tables, Accent. and you guys, I, you guys can answer this too. You know the girl who flipped that lady the other day on Trump, Alex? Didn't she? she didn't, how she, come she's not doing any jail time? No, she didn't flip on you. Mean, uh, um, um, uh, what's what, her name? What's her name? Uh, 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 I forgot now. Crawford? Jenna? Huh? Oh, come on. Jenna or Sydney? Sydney, uh, Sydney Powell. Sydney Powell. Sydney yeah. Powell. I mean, let's throw her in jail for a few months. No, she must I, have some good shit on, on Trump. But if she's hour. got a good stuff on Trump, I say don't throw her in jail. Let's listen That's to right. what she no, has apparently. to say. I know, but I was hoping some of them, they, they're all kind of, hopefully he's going to jail. It's looking bad for four now. Well, I'm mm -hmm. saying these guys are disagreeing with me, but I think it's not looking good for Trump. No, how could it be? This they're is, all this, flipping. Tony, this is what the what the prosecutors do. They get the low-hanging fruit, yep. and they offer them a deal of no jail if they testify against the big, the big wheel, and that's what they're doing right now. They're getting all the low-hanging. The fruit, only problem I've ever had. Deals, with it, the only problem I've had. Testify. The only problem I've had with that over the years is that yeah, I that's it's a wonderful thing, you know, it's it's good, but if you're getting somebody to testify against the person. In hmm. order to give them a lower sentence or not any sentence at all, or have them plead out or whatever, mm -hmm. is that reliable? Yeah. Because what yeah, you're doing well, is you're they, making a deal that they t say something you want to hear, and yeah. you know. The prosecutors that are smarter than that. They know. Well, I think the feds the must thing. know they have a lot of them. They 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 have to come clean. So Sidney Powell had to come clean with all and every. Illegal things she did, Trump related or she's otherwise. Up there. And she's got you know, to give evidence too. She because you can't just take her word for it. That's right. It, that's it, right. It, yeah, sure. Don't it, follow up on what she says. So, but I hear nothing about her losing her l l lawyer's license. Oh, hmm. could she still practice? Oh, so that's what I want to ask you. Well, maybe I'm in Georgia. Wait, wait, hold on a second. What? What did you say? 
somebody say something about it? I said not yet. She no, should. Or, I, but I, she what's, could lose her law degree. Because yeah. what's his name who testified today? He lost his law license. Cohen. Cohen, right? Yeah. yeah. I got yeah. Cohen. Yeah. Uh-huh. He was. Well, when you go to prison. He, Huh? <laughs> she was crying, Alex. I was like, "Are you crazy?" Oh man, that was Jen Ellis is just crying or bawling. I mean, that was, that was like crocodile tears. She knew what she was doing. Yeah, she's kind of a good-looking Republican, isn't she? <laughs> Tony wants Phil, her to be as a urologist. You think <laughs> Phil's getting worried, Alex? Phil's getting worried now. I think <clears throat> I think Trump's got to be bothered. I think Trump's got to be concerned. It's got to Thank come you. on, right? Yeah, he can't be this stupid. That he knows it's the right. Hey, the by the way, by the way. Uh, oh wow! Uh, nice, you, lo- you Adrian, look like a hockey player Adrian, there, Adrian. Yeah. Adrian. Yeah. Adrian. <laughs> wait a minute. Hockey? Hold on a second. Oh, she Adrian? got a teeth knocked wait out. Minute. Adrian, Adrian, look at him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this, huh? The tooth fairy's coming. Yeah. Yeah, hey, that's pretty good. You, Twenty dollars a tooth, right? <laughs> oh, I wish you were. <laughs> this is going to be. This is going to be. This is going to be. This is going to be five thousand dollars a suit. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 By the time you get to our age, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, uh, do you want to say anything else? Yeah. I'm hungry. Okay. Good night. What? She's hungry. She's always hungry. Mm. You don't feed her before for, before, before, before she goes. No. Nobody. <laughs> 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 Yeah, he's still here. He's hiding. How old mommy's is he? in uh, mommy's in Vietnam for two weeks, so everybody come over here and party this weekend. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. He's got the whole house to himself. <laughs> yeah, the kids. I just lock up downstairs in the basement, and then I get the whole house myself. <laughs> lock the doors. Let them play games. Lock the door, and they're fine for like three days straight, no food. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I I was going to say that there was a time where if you want, if you were going to go to uh, uh, Vietnam, you probably went to Canada. But anyway, that's <laughs> yeah. it, see, again, isn't it amazing how times change? I know. Yeah, it's nice that you say. Oh, they say it's very nice. Great place to yeah, have. Yeah, it's a you, great you, vacation. You've been, well, you've been yeah. there. I, I still, I still oh, am a fan of Survivor and Amazing Race. And Amazing Race just did like two two weeks of you know shows of from there. So uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah. No, it was really, really quite. Uh, uh, you know, times change. Yeah. Yeah, even when I went there the first time, maybe like 15 years ago, mm-hmm. uh, man, people gave me a lot of slack on there, you know, saying, oh, why are you going there da, da, and all this stupid stuff. But now it's like very natural. It's oh, like it's a big tourist destination. Yeah. Yeah. Supposed to be wonderful. Supposed to be lovely over there. Um, mm-hmm. yeah. Hopefully she stays over there. Yeah. Oh, we got about another 55 seconds left before I have to pay. Oh, by the way, we figured out why the theme, you can't hear the theme. Oh. Ready, ready for the answer? Sure. Yeah. If we were using Skype, you'd be able to hear it. Yeah. Oh, we're not using Skype. Yeah, we can hear it with What Jack. happens okay. is Zoom won't let the music go across because it they consider it to be copywritten fu- uh, oh, wow. uh, oh. music. That's my I, but I have to own that music. Oh, no, you know, I pay rights to it for it. Yeah. But nevertheless, ah. that doesn't matter. They don't know in the algorithm over at Zoom, so you can't hear it because it doesn't go across Zoom. Yeah. Interesting, huh? So, yeah. Well. Uh, well, I'm going to play it now, and you won't be able to hear it. But so what? Thank you. You know. <laughs> and you sing. It's the same da, 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 da. I thought uh, that's why Jeff was here. Aren't you the cantor? What? <laughs> no, I was not I was to before. You the sound. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, well, anyway, Alan, thank you for being with us. Thank you very much, Brian. Is is <laughs> a, has Adrian left the room? Oh no, there she's still is. there. Thank you, she Adrian. Has to say her name as she comes running over. Thank you, Adrian. <laughs> you toothless wonder, you. <laughs> Can I have two? No, no, One. no, 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 no. Candy. There's candy on my desk. She's trying to get candy at the, she's trying to get candy at the store today. And I'm like, are you crazy? You're gonna have like two bags of candy next week. No. Oh, wow. What is what is what does your shirt say? Amigas? Please. Amigas Forever. Friends forever. Amigas forever. Oh well I, I used to have a computer called an Amiga that I love, so I agree oh, with yeah, Amigas yeah. Forever. 
Anyway, thank you, Brian. Thank you to uh, Charlie. Thank you to Jeff. Thank you to uh, Kevin. And thank you to a guy by the name of Tony who has a kind of urologist I would like to have. Anyway, <laughs> everybody, See you give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you, okay? There they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our citizen panel for tonight. Uh, Jack Bishop will have a citizen panel in just a few minutes. He'll be doing it on Skype at uh, uh, at um, <laughs> at GabNet Live. Okay, I'll see you again tomorrow. What? What? Yes, tomorrow, ten thirty, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. Okay. Bye bye, everybody.